Holy smokes, everybody. There is some new breaking news about inflation and people. The situation is just getting worse. The central banks have been lying through their teeth, telling us that inflation is only temporary or it's going to be transitory. But people, it is accelerating. It's the opposite of what they said would happen. So in this video, I'm going to go over this latest breaking news inflation data, tell you what prices are surging. And there is a new area where prices are starting to accelerate, which is very worrying. And I'll get into what this means for you and me and how we can prepare for what's coming. Okay, everybody, let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. So look at this, everybody. Producer inflation accelerated in August. This is as wholesale prices rose to a record 8.3% from a year ago. This is crazy, everybody. 8.3% in a year. What happened to the central banker's mandate of 2% inflation? I'll get into later in the video why they're going to change this mandate. So producer prices increased 0.7% in August, and that was above the Dow Jones estimate. And as you can see here, everyone, this is the biggest increase on record. And they're now saying inflationary pressures are likely to persist. Well, 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 everyone, it's looking like they're starting to admit, okay, maybe it's not going to be transitory and it's not going to be temporary. And something that I'm starting to see more and more is this. So inflation of 3 to 4% will be the new normal, they say. Why do you think they're saying this, everybody? Well, the reason they're saying this is because when they started QE after the global financial crisis, once they started doing that, there's no going back. And what did they do then? They printed hundreds of billions. But then what did they do in this crisis? They printed tens of trillions. And what do you think they're going to have to do during the next financial crisis or recession? They're going to have to print hundreds of trillions. And that is when this fiat currency system will fail and there'll be a digital monetary reset with central bank digital currencies. Because when you study fiat currency... Do you know what their track record is? Not 70% success rate, not 80%, not 90%. Every single currency that humankind has created has failed, all of them, because governments get greedy, they print too much, they use that money to steal the wealth of people, real wealth like land, businesses, resources, tools, people's labor, until eventually people lose faith in the currency and it collapses. But back to the data. So final demand for services rose 0.7% for the month thanks to a 1.5% gain in trade services or the margins received by wholesale traders and retailers. But listen to this, everybody. Transportation and warehousing costs surged 2.8%. That's right, 2.8% in one month. And what are we seeing that's happening around the world, everybody? Freight rates are going up through the roof. Shipping costs are going up through the roof. And now warehousing costs are surging. What do you think that's going to do to your consumer products and food prices? It's going to make them accelerate even faster. But people, listen to this. This is a trend with inflation that's going to have big consequences and is very worrying. So there was a 2.9% gain in foods, which came from an 8.5% surge in meat prices. If this trend continues, you're going to have people starting to have to make the choice between putting food on the table and a roof over their head because not only food costs are surging, fuel costs are surging, and housing costs are surging. All the mandatory things we need to survive are skyrocketing out of control. And the biggest gainer was 11% increase in poultry prices. And the things that fell was iron, steel, and diesel fuel. So what does this mean for you and me, everyone? What this means is inflation is not temporary. And what we're seeing the central banks are doing is they're lying to the people. Unfortunately, most average Americans or pretty much anyone in any country have no idea how the financial system works, how the banking system works. Of course, all my viewers do. You are very educated and you know how it works. But most of the average Joes have no idea. So they'll see their costs surging and they'll have no idea why. And you have these central bankers saying, no, high inflation's good because then that means you'll get a pay rise and that means there'll be more jobs. Well, what are we seeing right now? There's a record amount of job openings. So really, they've done their job to try to create the jobs, but they're not taking the stimulus away. They're still blasting the stimulus at full pace because again, 
They can't turn the stimulus off, otherwise the global financial system would fall into a deflationary bust and crash, and that means all the debt that's in the global economy, because we're a debt-fueled economy, it would actually be harder to service that debt during deflation, and people would spend less, and it'll lead to a prolonged depression. So everyone, what I think is going to happen is they're going to find more and more excuses to why inflation is not temporary. Now to say, just a little longer, just another three months, just another three months. And then when that three month passes, oh, just a little longer, it'll get better. And they'll keep saying this again and again, and it won't get better. So what we have to do right now to prepare is you need a hedge against inflation. Now, good hedges against inflation traditionally have been precious metals like gold and silver. Even now, some people are using Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation because there's a limited supply. But there's also some non-traditional assets that you would need that will help you hedge against inflation. Your own water source because water prices will go up. Your own food source to hedge against the rising food costs. Your own power source, solar, because electricity prices will keep going up. And land, especially farmland, will keep going up in value because what are we seeing? All the billionaires are buying up the farmland because when high inflationary does come, well, that's the best hedge because people will always pay for food during inflationary times before anything else. And if they ignore this inflation and keep letting it run hot, the stock market won't crash. It'll actually melt up. The only way it will crash is if they do stop printing money to get inflation under control and spike interest rates. But I have a feeling they're not going to do this. Unfortunately, they're going to do the latter, keep printing money, keep letting inflation run hot, which will ultimately lead to the downfall of the middle class and the poor. But everyone, what do you think? Let me know. But for all my loyal viewers and subscribers still watching, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.